hi guys welcome back to my channel you can tell by the title of this video that i'll be doing a flexi rod set on my hair and oh my goodness my hair looks terrible um so i'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it the first thing i did was wash my hair with the aunt jackie's curls and coils um the purify me flaxseed uh, recipe it says moisturizing co-wash cleanser so i just did a co-wash um you can see i could not find any hair ties right away but that's the first thing i did and then just like wrap my hair in a t-shirt um after that the first thing i did was just section off my hair um i try to work in just like smaller sections in general just because it makes things a whole lot easier um to make sure i don't get anything kind of like tangled up or any what well yeah just so i don't get anything tangled up um so yeah, kind of fumbling around trying to find everything I needed. Um, the first thing I did though after sectioning it off was I put in a leave-in conditioner. It's the leave-in conditioner that I always use. Um, it's by Cantu Shea Butter for natural hair. It's called the leave-in conditioning cream. And as I've said before, uh, this leave-in conditioner, it does not have um, like the isopropyl alcohol like most people think. Um, so yeah, I love this conditioner. This is pretty much the main one that I use. I have another one that I use, but... I don't use that one too often just because it's a little more expensive um so yeah i'm just trying to get open um the next product that i use after the leave-in conditioner which is the aunt jackie's um don't shrink flaxseed elongating curling gel um i think i've used this maybe like once before but i might have given it away and then i didn't use it um but i just used it um here just because i thought it would like work really good and i just like the way the product smells um, so this is kind of sped up. You will see later on when I slow it down kind of what I did But after doing that, I just brushed through my hair um, to make sure it didn't have any um, I guess tangles <laughs> and you can see I'm really struggling trying to figure this out But I just kind of once I got the flexi rods out um, I tried to wrap it around I guess bringing the hair forward around like so it'll be coming towards my face um, and I am really struggling like oh my goodness but it took me a while to get that first one probably like five to eight minutes maybe um but I did finally get it as you can see and this is where I said I have it slowed down so once again the same thing I did before um, I started with my leave-in conditioner uh, from Cantu Shea Butter um i can't remember if oh i probably had already put some um the leave-in in there but then i went for the um the flaxseed gel and then once again just wrapping the hair forward towards my face around the flexi rod um one thing i did do um at, i'm sorry for all the faces i've made too just like <laughs> disclaimer i make a whole bunch of like weird faces in this video um but yeah so after kind of wrapping it around to make sure my ends are secured i did add a little bit more gel to the ends just kind of like rotated my fingers around that one part and then after that i just rolled the flexi rod in closer to my scalp so it would kind of hold in place i folded the top portion that i had of the flexi rod backwards so it stayed in place and then i folded the rest of the flexi rod that's at the end i folded it kind of like onto the rest of the flexi rod to keep the hair in place even more and that's pretty much what i did throughout this whole video and after i got that first one um going it was pretty quick after that but yeah like i thought it was some like extra hair hanging out but it wasn't it was just like some piece of hair that had came off so yeah once i got going it was pretty easy but it took me like i said like five to seven minutes for the first one um, just because I hadn't done this in a really long time. And I think before I've only done it maybe like once or twice. So yeah, um, back speeding it up. And I'll just let you guys take a look at what I did from here. And I will get back to you, I guess, once I'm like closer to being done. All right, so one thing I did forget to say is that um, my hair did start drying pretty fast. I didn't want my hair to be like drenching wet, but it definitely needs to be like a little damp. So I did have my spray bottle near me just to make sure I could like dampen it back up a little bit before applying the product, just to make sure the product kind of was like taken to my hair a lot better. Um, but yeah, that was the only thing I just wanted to say, so 
continue watching. At least I hope you're continuing watching. So I am getting a little closer to being done. Um, you can see I kind of pretty much have, I guess, like the back half of my hair done. Kind of working on the opposite side now, which I'm about done with that side as well. But decided to slow it down one more time in case anybody just wanted to relook at it again from like the other side. Um, I still was doing the same process. Uh, the leave-in conditioner, uh, the Aunt Jackie's um, curling gel, I'm brushing through my hair to make sure I don't have any... Uh, knots or tangles or anything and then once again even on the opposite side I still made sure to like roll my hair forward towards my face I guess that could be like a preference um but I still did the same thing and at the end of my hair um adding some more gel to make sure that my ends aren't like frizzy or like dry looking once I do uncurl it um but yes applying more gel to my ends uh rolling it towards my scalp a little bit more um yeah those ends gotta make sure you get them um, and then the top portion of the flexi rod, folding it back on my scalp to make sure it's held in place, kind of like that. You see, I let it go for like a second and it was still fine. And then the other end of the flexi rod, making sure I fold it up, mainly to just kind of to get it out of the way, but it also helps hold um, the ends of your hair in place as well. So, speeding it up once again, and I will get back to you when I am, I think, maybe it might be the next day. I'm not sure, but I hope you guys are still watching and I will. Talk to you again shortly. Alright, so I'm doing the very last one already. Um, like I said, once I got going, it was pretty, I guess not like super fast, but it went like fast to me, I guess, especially in comparison to that first one. Um, but yeah, just finishing up my hair here. Just did the last one. Thank God. And I just slept with my uh, oversized bonnet on. Um, yeah, trying to get the ends of that hair to make sure it stays in place. But yeah, I slept with my bonnet on. It... It's not the most comfortable to sleep that way, but you do what you gotta do. Um, but yeah, just slept with that on overnight and came back the next morning and here I am. Got my makeup on, I was getting ready for church. Um, but yeah, um, the next morning to unroll my hair, I also use another Aunt Jackie's products uh, the, from the flaxseed recipe. It's the soft all over multi-purpose oil. Um, it smells, this whole line just smells really good to me, um, but yeah, you can see I'm just kind of unrolling my hair, uh, this, it kind of went kind of fast, I guess, but I just unrolled my hair, um, it was hard to do, it was easy for one side, but then hard to unroll it for the other side, but you kind of just like rotate it around itself, um, if you don't get it right away, it's fine, because once I flip to the opposite side, it, it took me a while to get the first flexi ride out. I do not know why, but I did eventually get it. And I did make sure to kind of keep adding um, oil to my hair, especially once I start to separate it. Just to make sure the curls stay shiny. And I do love the way it came out. Um, yeah, I don't have any complaints with how it came out. 
so yeah i'm just gonna keep going here and i hope you guys once again are still watching and i will talk to you again shortly okay so i'm just about done pretty much separating the curls the next thing i did was i got a pick um i just took my pick and kind of fluffed it out at the roots i really 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 like how it came out let me tell you the next or not the next day but like later on when i came from church i took so many pictures um which i don't think i, I don't take pictures a lot unless like i really put forth the effort to do my hair and i really just like i said like how it came out um, the curls were really shiny. They came out pretty defined as well, which I really liked. Um, the only thing I will say is that it really only lasted me maybe, like maybe two days. And now looking back, I don't know if I actually applied the um, gel. Like every time I did a section, I might have forgotten, but it still came out really nice. Um, I may try to use a different gel the next time. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it. And that is it for this video.